Welcome back to the channel and today we're going to talk about my Aruba skate. So in this video, I'm going to just do a quick story about my trip to Aruba and how I came about these particular rocks and we're getting to the equipment list and the hardscape. The planting video will be a part two. You guys are going to enjoy the plants because I'm planning to use Platinum Glosso. Yeah! When I'm on vacation, I don't waste time. Like every single minute, I'm exploring, <laughs> exploring, exploring. And I'm like, get up, we gotta go. Work hard, play hard. I think these are pelicans at the marina that I saw. It, it's it's kind of cool. I didn't know they were that big. Anyways, got on a boat, got to this private island. I think they call it like Flamingo Beach or something like that. It's owned by the hotel that we were staying at. My girlfriend really wanted to go because she wanted to check out the flamingos. Did a little swimming. It was cool. The water wasn't as clear, I guess, due to the season or whatnot. Went to see the flamingos and um, they look kind of sad. I mean, I know that these flamingos were forcefully brought as a tourist attraction in Aruba, but I didn't know they were this sad. But what did make me happy is me catching this lizard. It's called the Aruban Whiptail, and it was eating a chicken finger. Enough of this island. Rinsed all the sand off. Got back on a boat. Got back to the main island. Anywhere I go, I love, I love, I love to just drive around and just get lost. Driving, driving, driving. Then the road started becoming like dirt and rocks. Then I started seeing mountain goats that kept going to the point where the road is no more. So I just get out, I take in the nature that was right in front of me, and I was like, wow, this is absolutely breathtaking. And as I look around, I'm like, I just hit the mother low, like, wow. They have like a little orange shoe to it, plus the texture on these rocks was like amazing. Like the details on these were like amazing. And plus, these rocks were already crushed up. I'm like, you know what, I'm just gonna pick some up and get them home shoot and they were even more amazing after i scrubbed them i would definitely go back to aruba and get more rocks i brought back like 40 45 pounds of rocks i stuffed it in my girlfriend's suitcase the agent at the airport actually pulled her aside and was asking her hey what do you have in that bag they thought it was cocaine or crack rocks <laughs> to be honest the quote-unquote hardscape in aruba is absolutely spectacular mother nature is truly the master aquascaper those iwagumi lovers aruba would be like the must destination for you Now let's talk about this tank right here. This is a Lifeguard Aquatics. This tank is 9.63 gallons. I actually got this on Amazon.com and it measures 45 by 27 by 30 cm's. I don't know why we can't just all get on the same system. Like, why don't we even have daylight savings? Tell me why. Ain't nothing but a mistake. I want it that way. Sorry, I got carried away. I'm running a CO2 paintball tank. And on top of that, I have a F-Zone CO2 regulator. In there, I have my favorite Twin Star CO2 diffuser. And I have the glass lily pipe sets. It is the poppy filter and as well just the regular intake. I'm actually looking to get a skimmer for this because the surface gump is just starting to get annoying. And for the filtration on the tank, I'm running a canister filter, the Eheim 2213. And as you can see, I swap out the Eheim green line with the clear line for the more aesthetically pleasing effect. And we can't forget about one of the most important necessities of the tank, which is the light. This is a Chihiro's WRGB 45 centimeter light. I got it from Aqua Rocks, Colorado. It was a pretty good deal. So I'm like, cool, done, ship it. And I was kind of scrubbing around the site and I found soil that they had. It's called platinum soil, is made in Japan. And anything with Japanese letter on it is A1 in my books. I'm not really sure if that's a good way to gauge your thing. This took quite a while just because I was going through so many iterations. And from what I learned, in order to do a really beautiful hardscape, it is best to have as many options as possible. Imagine the Sistine Chapel was painted only in black and white. 